So we're making a poster. And with the text tool T, you're gonna draw a box around the guide. See this neon green guide for you? That's gonna help us put the text there. So draw a text box in that area. And then you're gonna go to File, Place. And we're gonna place the text that you downloaded from the internet. And we're gonna hit OK. Next, what we're gonna be doing is, you see the headers? The header is create a statement with your shoes, okay? We're gonna change that to white color. So change that to white and bold. Now there's three different headers. And instead of going to each header and going white, bold, white, bold, you can create kind of like a style. And then to create a style, go to window and then go to character styles. So window type character styles. And in your character style, uh, control click on create new style. When you control click on create new style, it'll create a new style with what you just made. Kind of like format painter. I'm gonna double click character style and we're gonna call that bold white. Now the other header is called throw away old tired shoes. So find that in your text, throw away old tired shoes. And then just click on the new style that you made and it'll automatically make it bold and white. And then the last thing is we are all over the place. Highlight we are all over the place. And click on that bold white that you made. So now all of them are the same. Now right now it's uh, one column. We want to make it two columns. So go ahead and take your cursor and drag it to the left so it, it's about half the size of the box. Now where's the other half after we resized it? It's missing, right? It's actually, you see this red arrow right here? Go ahead and double click that and it'll automatically make a second box that shows the rest of the text. So what you can do is resize it and put it on the other column like that. Okay. So just resize it. There'll be a red arrow. Double click the red arrow and it'll make two. And then you got two of them. Now we want to change the alignment or the size of our spacing. So go ahead and select T on the keyboard and highlight your text and we're gonna go into go to window type and go to paragraph okay paragraph and in paragraph we're gonna choose choose a uh, command click on the triple lines and hit show more options and then you see this one right here? It's called space before paragraph. We're gonna do that. Go ahead and choose six point and hit enter. And you'll notice the spacing like changed. So it looks a little bit more readable. So that was really beneficial for us. Um, next what we're gonna do is, you see this shoe here? We're gonna take this shoe we're gonna put it right in the middle of both of the text boxes. So we're gonna to go to object, cause it's an object. We're gonna to go to clipping mask. No, not clipping mask, text wrap. Text wrap options. And we're gonna choose 12. 12 will give us a little bit more space um, around between the object and the text and hit okay. Okay, so object, text, text wrap, and then make. Okay, and then go ahead and bring that in front of the text with the bracket tool, and then it'll automatically be wrapped into our text. So if we move it around, it automatically moves with it. So it's very helpful and a neat feature that we can use. Um, go ahead and scroll. So go ahead, the T text tool, draw a box on the top half, and then type in a phrase. And you guys, 
I'm gonna place that right in the orange and I'm gonna go to effect and I'm gonna choose warp and I'm gonna choose arc upper do you guys remember this in Photoshop arc upper I'm gonna choose 50% of the blend hit OK and notice how it arcs it up now I can resize it so it looks a little bit more There we go. That looks good. Okay, so you guys see that? Kick it up. So I'm going to change you can change the color to whatever you want. Be creative. I'm going to choose this blue and I'm going to do a stroke of 2 and the stroke I'm going to match it with the orange like that. Now do you guys see this line? We're going to put some text on that line. So hit the T and then click on that line. <laughs> okay. And notice how kick it up, it's getting uh, interfering. I can lock that. Command 2 will lock that. So, because I'm done with that part. So now I can click on my line easier. So now just type in some text. You can be creative. I'm just going to put in, don't just stand there do something or like be creative type in your own advertising text personalize it you guys are creative okay so like you don't have to put the same text as I am be creative I'm gonna keep that white text I'm gonna actually move it up a little bit and boom we're done with that part Okay, let's put some text on the left side. See on the left side, it's kind of like empty. So, uh, type tool, we're gonna type in, type in something creative, three words, choose three words. I'm gonna type in, uh, look, by where. <laughs> look, by where. That's my advertising. You could type in, Run, dance, walk, or sail, 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 whatever you want to do, whatever floats your boat. Um, I'm going to choose a green color. Okay. And I'm going to make this bigger. Now, if we want to rotate it so it, it goes uh, vertical, notice if I rotate it, it doesn't really, oh, it does change it. If it doesn't change it for you, uh, a for sure way you can do it is on the left side, you can click rotate, double click that, and then hit like 90 degrees, hit OK, and it automatically changes it for you to 90 degrees. Okay? And then you can like resize it to the way you want it. Now, we want to bl uh, make this transparent and blend it because notice there's a little bit too much text going on. It's too busy. So we're going to click on the vertical text, go to your opacity and change that to maybe like 70% or something. And then I'm going to choose soft light. And notice soft light kind of blends in better with uh, the background. So it's not so crazy. Okay. And the last thing we're going to do is click on the globe, click on the black um, outer circle of the globe, hit the text tool, and we're going to choose type on path tool. And you're going to click on that path, and we're going to type in uh, Sammy's Shoe World. Okay, Sammy's Shoe World. And then you can change the direction of it by, you see this little line here? If you drag that line, you can change the direction of it. So go ahead and choose the direction that you want. And then you're done.